Steve Kim here at Wild Card with Vadim Kornilov, the manager of Ruslan Provodnikov. April 18th, they face Lucas Matisse. Vadim, how easy or difficult was this fight to consummate when it was all said and done? This fight was actually pretty easy to make. If uh, compared to other fights that we've had to go through, this was uh, you know pretty easy. The only thing we had to go through is the VADA testing situation, but it ended up well. You know, even though our side had to pay for all the testing, but you know we've got VADA testing in place. Even though uh, Matisse is tra training in Argentina, uh, it was important for us, and we want to do it every time the Ruslan fights. So we're coming through with that, as we said before. So other than that, it was very easy. Golden Boy was very forthcoming. Mm -hmm. Vadim, let's talk about that situation with VADA testing. You guys have been out front and trying to be leaders on this subject. Does it dismay you that more fighters are not on board with this movement? I definitely think that the fighters at the upper level should be considering this because there's still a lot of unanswered questions and a lot of speculation on uh, whether fighters are clean or not. So for us, we always wanted to make sure there is, uh, there's no speculation. We wanted to make sure that people know exactly um, how the fighter trains and what, if he wins, he wins cleanly and uh, you know, honestly. And that's very important for Ruslan and it's very important for all of our fighters. So whenever our, one of our fighters from our team gets to a level where they can you know, cover the testing or we can support the testing, we we're going to get it in place for all our fighters. Vadim, if they did not comply with your request for VADA testing, the Matisse side, would that have put this fight in jeopardy? 100 really? percent. I, I mean, I put it in the press that if there was no VADA testing, we're not going to do the fight. And it was it wasn't just a sudden thing. I said that from the beginning. You know, mm -hmm. we talked about that with our promoter and our promoter actually took very good steps. Artie, you know, Artie Palulo took very good steps in helping us make make this happen, because to me, it seemed like, uh, you know, they didn't really want it that much. Mm -hmm. So we made sure that we pushed it through. And if there was no, no VADA testing, it would put the fight in jeopardy 100 percent. But I'm going back to last year, very frustrating year, disappointing loss to Chris Algieri. A lot of people thought you won that fight. Then you had Jose Luis Castillo, a fight that you guys took some criticism for. How frustrating was this past year? You know, the loss was a little bit frustrating, obviously, and, uh, you know, it was a questionable loss. You know, to me, it was a very close fight, but again, Ruslan was a champion at that time, and I still think that if you want to become a champion, you should, you should do it on your feet, you know. And, you know, I know Algeria did pretty well in the second part of the fight and all of that, but uh, it was still pretty close, and it's always known that if you want to take somebody's title, you got to take it. You know, and I don't think he did that. Um, the Castillo fight was a political step for us. You know, Ruslan wanted to make a fight at home. Uh, we invited Zab Judah to come fight, Shane Mosley, um, you know, Herrera, mm -hmm. um, a couple other guys. You know, we invited all the big names, and we were paying them, you know, probably if not the same, double the money in certain instances to come and fight Ruslan in Moscow, but not, none of them wanted the fight. So, you know, Castillo was a guy that came through and, you know, you know, to me, the criticism is not that important. I thought that Castillo took that fight very seriously and I actually thought it was a pretty good fight. When you look back at the beginning of the year as this fight is being negotiated and talked about, was there an onus? Was there, did you feel pressure that you had to get Ruslan a significant fight after that? After Algeria? You yeah, know, after, after the Castillo, Castillo fight. Well, the Castillo fight was a, a fight that we made in order to come to the big fight. It, mm -hmm. was, it was part of the strategy, it was part of the plan. You know, we were, what we were being offered at the time after the Algeria fight, we did not think that a champion that got his title taken away the way he did should be treated that way. Mm -hmm. So that's why we took a step to the side, let's call yeah. that, and uh, went to Russia, did a fight over there, and it was a good move for, for us uh, and for the fans anyway. And, uh, you know, this fight was coming. We knew that. And it, that was part of Artie's plan. It was part of the Banner Promotions plan. And, you know, they, they did a great job with that. And we got what we wanted at the end. April 18th, is there any way this is not a fight of the year candidate in your view? Um, the only way it could not be fight of the year if it's going to be a knockout of the year in the beginning of the fight. Okay, Vadim, best of luck April 18th. Thanks for Thank the you. time. Thank this you. is Steve Kim for UCN Live.